Hi, my name is Geraint Jones. I'm a former British Army infantry soldier and a best-selling writer. This is 11 questions and a cup of coffee. Uh, I'd say my coffee black or with some MCT oil or some coconut oil mixed in there. Um, if I'm doing intermittent fasting, I'll, um, I'll definitely go with some MCT oil in there. And um, I, fi I find it, it's, it's, uh, it works well with my writing, if that kind of combination. My method of brewing is I say, Mom, can I have a coffee, please? And then it magically appears in front of me. Um, no, I, I, um, I'm just pretty straight up. I just dump it in the cup. I pour hot water on top of it. I'm not like a uh, chemist mixing it all up on any of that stuff. I suppose the most bizarre places, like uh, a lot of your guests would probably be back end of Afghanistan, you know, those kind of places on the other side of the world. Um, and I imagine there was, there's probably plenty of times where there's been a cup of coffee or tea in my hand and someone's been trying to shoot me. I did an exercise called Cambrian Patrol when I was, um, I think I was 17 at the time. I, it was, I just joined the reserves and it was, uh, oh, it's Sergeant Major's like, oh, you look, uh, you, you look fit. Come away on this, uh, come away on this exercise. Uh, it's like NATO's premier patrols competition in Europe, and it involved basically a few days of going up and down over mountains, carrying a bloody house on the back of my, on my back. And um, I had no idea what to expect. I had no idea when it was going to finish, and that mental side of it made it tougher. Didn't stop raining for the entire thing. It was just horizontal lashing rain. And um, I remember at one point I had a, there was a part with CBRN. I had my gas mask on, and I just remember whimpering into my gas mask, just thinking like, when is this hell going to end? Um, but as soon as I finished it, I thought I was awesome. I want to do that again. Um, I think that we have an obligation to live up to our potential. And um, I think when you've had people around you who have put time and effort into you, then you owe it to them to, um, to do you know, what you can do to the best of your ability. I think people think that I'm um, very kind of like gung-ho and pro-military. I think that's starting to change now. I think that was people's opinion to begin with. Um, I think now people are realizing that just because you are a veteran doesn't mean that you hate other groups of people. Um, and um, I, I think that there's, a, there's like a movement of a lot that, that's co coming across with a lot of people who are working in the kind of artistic space now who are veterans. Um, that this, this black and white image that people have of, of the soldier, um, you know, is, is starting to be challenged. Uh, I'm not really sure about that one. Honestly, it changes on a daily basis. It's, um, sometimes I've, I've, I used to think that it was very much a, like knocking off a list of goals. You know, you, ne you need to achieve this in the army. You need to achieve this amount of book sales. You need to uh, earn this much money. Um, and now I'm starting to think that success is much more just being comfortable in your skin on a daily basis. Mountain. I'm Welsh. I'm Welsh. I love, I love mountains. We're basically, we're basically the dwarves out of uh, Lord of the Rings. You know, got out of those mountains. Uh, the ability to uh, stop giving a fuck would be a very powerful, very powerful um, ally, I think. Um, it's obvious, it's, it's important to be, have some, have self, some self-criticism. Uh, and it's also important to take, um, you know, take advice and criticism, for, criticism from other people. Uh, but I think one thing that I suffer with and a lot of people suffer with is you can um, really start to care about the opinions of pe people that really don't matter to you or matter to your life. Um, and it can, it can slow you down, it can make you miserable. So if I could get rid of that, that would be great. Uh, what am I known for? Well, I'm known for probably writing and partying. Uh, so <laughs> hobbies outside of those would be, um, I love go, I love, like the mountains. I love getting up into the mountains, going walking up into the mountains. Um, I love DJing. DJing's a, 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 a been a passion of mine since I was um, probably like 16 years old. And it was a, there was a junction in my life where it was army or going into music. DJs didn't make any money at that time, so I thought the army would be the better choice. And now I have friends that make millions of pounds for <laughs> making music, so I might chose wrong on that one. Right, well, I don't think I'm going to make ruler of the new world order because uh, I don't like being the boss. I'm quite happy being, uh, being like down in the hierarchy, like kind of Lance Corporal level where I get yeah, something's licking my leg. <laughs> like Lance Corporal level where um, I could get out the shittest jobs, like probably dismembering the people that we've just captured to eat. I can get out of that stuff. Um, I think, though, that um, I think that I'd like to think that I'd end up getting honey trapped 
and that there'd be some beautiful babe who I'm either going to die trying to save or she's going to lure me into the like horrible cannibal factory that they've got going on and I'll end up getting my liver eaten because I was trying to get my dick sucked. So that would be it. Yeah. That was amazing. <laughs> best, hands down, best answer to that question ever. <laughs>